Hey everybody, welcome to Engineering Academy and in this video I'll be talking about the slabless staircase. Okay, so if we see the architecture of this staircase, then uh, you will see this, right? Okay, so uh, this is our lower floor and uh, this is the upper floor, right? So these two levels, so basically this level and uh, this level, right? Okay, so uh, so from here to up to here, you got a staircase, right? So this staircase is a slabless staircase. So it means that it doesn't have a waist slab, right? So what is the waist slab? We know it. So I'll show you So what is actually a waist slab is. Alright, so let me go to some block one. I got a structural and let's see the staircase detail. Okay, so if you see this staircase over here, then you'll see that this slab is called as the waist slab, right? So the slab is I'll show you the slab from here up to here, right? So this entire slab is called as the waist slab. Right, so if you don't have this waist slab and you get only steps, then your staircase is known as slabless staircase, or you can say uh, waist slabless staircase, right? Okay, so uh, this is the architecture, and from here you know what the location of this uh, staircase and the width of this staircase and the number of steps that are required, right? And uh, once you know that, so you will see the uh, structural drawing, and this is your structural drawing of this staircase, okay? So now what we'll do is that we'll just copy this drawing. All right, so let me just select it like this. Okay, let's copy it somewhere else so that we can do some rough things on it. Okay, so uh, after that, let's explore it. Okay, now it's good, right? So uh, we know uh, we know how this portion of the staircase is arranged. So if you don't know it, so watch the previous video on the staircase on the normal staircase, and so the link is in the description below. You will know what this actually uh, looks like, right? All right okay so uh so this is your first step then it's it's your tread then this is your riser and this is your tread okay so the thickness of uh this uh, you know this portion is 175 mm it's written and the thickness of this portion is also 175 this is also 175 mm right so if we you know, try to draw uh, some 3d kind of thing for it then let me try to do this right so the staircase steps will go like this way then this will be horizontal and it will come here join somewhere here right okay so then, so this is how it will be you know it is how the width of the staircase will look like and if i try to draw some depth also yeah this is how it will look like right so this is your this step and you can also imagine the same thing for this step as well with the thickness of this portion right okay so now uh now uh just don't focus on this portion right so just focus on this bar so this strip or the thigh like looking bar so this is your main bar here right so these bars are spread throughout the width of this staircase all right so uh let me draw a rectangle first and i'll show you how Okay, so I'll copy it and I'll just paste it like this. So these but these bars are spread. Okay, so snap off like this, right? Like this throughout the uh, width of the slab, and the spacing of these bars are uh, 150 mm center to center, and the bars are of 10 mm diameter, right? So these bars, so so they go 150 mm. The spacing from this bar up to this bar is 150 mm. From this bar up to this bar is 150 mm. This to this is 150 mm, right? And we know the width of the staircase from this drawing over here, so you can just measure it. You got again another kind of bar. So these are your distribution bars. So at the corners, you need to. Have have one two three four bars at the middle portion you got one two bars and again at the corners one two three and four bars that is at the edge not at the corners right so these bars they go like this all right so let me just turn off the snap snap right and again another bar so another bar it will go like this so these two bars will be at the top and these two bars will be at the bottom okay and again these two bars so these bars will go like this and these bars will go like this and these bars will go like this okay so this is how your first trade is complete okay so now let's focus on the riser so this riser over here All right, let me erase this these things all right okay 
Okay, so uh, one thing I forgot to tell you the reinforcement of uh, these uh, distribution bars. So uh, these are four bars each of 12 mm diameter. So there is no uh, dis uh, there is no distance given uh, from here to here is because we know that uh, the thickness of this portion is 175 mm, right? So if we subtract the clear cover, we subtract this portion and we subtract this portion. And uh, if we distribute that over two bars, you can get the distance from here up to here, right? That's very easy okay so uh same goes for this portion as well and uh, so they are two bars each of 8 mm so these are of 12 mm bars these are of 8 mm bars again these are of 12 mm bars right so they are four in numbers again okay so now if we see now if we see uh this uh this uh, riser uh, riser portion over here then uh the vertical stirrup uh, or the main bar is pressed over the width right okay so uh again let me draw a rectangle over here something like this and let me just copy it and they will be they will spread like this right so this is this is something i can make right so only two, only two i could draw for now to you know clearly show how they are actually spread all right so the spacing from here so if you see that these are 10 mm bars same as these bars and the spacing is 150 mm center to center so it means that spacing from the distance from this bar up to this bar is 150 mm and from this bar to this bar is 150 mm and they are spread throughout the width of this slab right and again these there you got four bars one two three four each of 12 mm right so they go like this right like this again your another bar will go like this and again another bar will go like this so really really congested for now i won't draw everywhere okay and uh, again at the bottom you got one two three and four bars so which i have already explained right so you have four bars at uh, this portion and again what you have you have got this horizontal stir up right so you got first you got horizontal then you got vertical then you again got horizontal again got vertical and it continues to go on until and unless you reach at this portion where this is your landing okay so we'll see how the reinforcement of landing is arranged at this side when i'll show the videos of this side okay so this is how the reinforcement of the waste lab is arranged at the side and now we'll see how actually the reinforcement goes on okay so this is uh, this was just to show you how you can read the uh, structural drawing for these kind of stages okay Okay, friends so this is the overview of the arrangement of the staircase at this side so here you can clearly see uh, the vertical and the horizontal rings that are placed along the tree and the riser okay so just focus on the rings over here and don't look at the other reinforcement otherwise you'll get confused okay so you can see how the vertical ring is uh, you know attached to the horizontal ring and here you can see uh, the uh, vertical rings only so without any horizontal rings right so this is the landing portion and uh, uh, so this is how you know the vertical rings are placed and after that the horizontal rings are placed right so in this clip you can see uh, the uh, you know distribution bars you know the straight bars that were placed at the edges or at the corners of the uh, rings right so you can clearly see uh, the four bars that are placed at the top four bars at the bottom and two bars at the mid portion also okay so so here you can see uh, the distribution bars uh, clearly you know the straight bars that run along the corners of the rings right so if we see the form walk you know how it is placed so this is how it is you know so we got uh, you know the props uh, that are, that is made up of food and so that's that was the best we got at that moment at the side row so if you got any better prop you can place it so this is the uh, you know form walk for these steps so getting the shape of these steps where the uh, so here the concrete is poured and you can clearly see the you know shape of these steps you'll get after it has set okay and guys so this much for uh, this video hope this video was helpful thank you for watching and take care